Hey, 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 what is going on? I, oh my goodness, I'm over the moon happy to be with you today. And friends, this is gonna be perhaps one of my most celebrated Facebook Lives. Um, I'm going live today with a gentleman named Charlie King. Now just how freaking cool is that name even, Charlie King. Um, he's a gentleman that I've worked with extensively and have such a passion and a big heart for. Um, Charlie is a man helping dads. And with somebody, uh, myself, to that I, you know, in the future cannot wait to be a father myself. Um, Charlie, I would tell you, is one of the only men I would ever trust to coach me through that process. And I genuinely mean that from the bottom of my heart. Charlie has such a big heart and is so um, just one of the best family men that I know. And he's helping men to get an edge. Um, and in fact, he calls it the dad's edge um, to help them find clarity and focus. Um, in a really distracted world as we all know so really taking your life back from the distraction and instead of trying to just do a bunch of crazy things anyways I don't want to tell you all the things because he'll be telling you more um, so I'm very excited uh, to bring him on today oh I just love first off I love being on Facebook live I love being live with you guys and uh, I'm very excited to be live with Charlie today so again like I said great friend um, and and does incredible work in the world. And like I said, we've worked together extensively and I've seen him up close, I've seen him do his work and uh, it's very powerful stuff. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring on Charlie King. Let's get him going. So Charlie, allow your viewers to request to join. Let's see if I can get Charlie on here. So Charlie and I are gonna be going live talking about the good old let's see Charlie can I get you Charlie maybe you can request access let's see if I can also get you on here da, 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 da. Hmm. Charlie tell me let me know if you can request to join here and I'll get you on live sir also, Charlie, make sure you are on your, yikes, don't see, make sure you're on your mobile, Charlie, and that may help. So I don't know if you're on your mobile or if you're on um, your on your laptop, just make sure you're on your mobile phone um, and make sure it's sideways and then you and I can, can dive in here. Let's see, looks like Charlie is on, so we'll get going here in just a moment hopefully let's see allow st stand by allow your viewers to request to join you as a guest in your broadcast ad here we go 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 but I don't see the thing, Matthew. You said there was a thing. There's a thing. We made it. We're here. We made it. We're here. Thank hey. God. <laughs> man, are those the uh, those are those the uh, the apples? Yeah, those are the circa 2012 to 2017 apples. <laughs> yeah, the not not uh, not anymore. Right now, we got the AirPods. Yeah. I'm now. Nervous with the AirPods. I feel like I'd lose them. Totally irrelevant. But that's just my biggest fear. Yeah, <laughs> I have, <laughs> probably not my biggest fear, but you know, good on you that that's your biggest fear. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm so excited for Charlie to be on. Uh, Charlie, thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm really excited to talk about the dad's edge and just in general to talk more about fatherhood because this is a big, big topic. Because father, yeah, because fatherhood is awesome. It's really incredibly awesome. Um, and like I have, like I've been steeped in the, in the deepness of fatherhood. I have teenagers now. Um, and there's like two things I know is like, I've never done anything harder in my life than be a dad. And I've never done anything more rewarding. Um, and the piece about for me, the piece that is um, both what made it the biggest challenge and what made it so rewarding was the opportunity 
to be the dad that my kids deserve, right? Which, you know, like the, the distinction I make with that is that there's either the opportunity to just like thrash through life, you know, knocking down the next thing that gets put up in front of you and kind of just survive it all, which I think a lot of parents do, yeah. or to really thrive in fatherhood and actually be the kind of dad that you've always wanted to be to, you know, to let go of bad habits from the past or, or, you know, family traditions that aren't so, aren't the ones you want to pass down from one generation to the next. Yeah. And, and, and to just really be an intentional dad. And it's made, um, it's, it's made, it's, it's made everything else pale in comparison. So good. And, and, and the opportunity to show up every day, the opportunity to show up every day, um, you know, uh, with like with an open heart and but also powerfully to yeah. really stay engaged with my kids. And and, you know, like and the bottom line is like, let's be clear, like when we say like intentional fatherhood, that means like not going off the rails when they do the X, Y, Z or they don't listen or the other thing and really just be super um, just super intentional about the way that we communicate with them and the choices that we make and the way that we guide them so that when, so that we're leaving them with like a toolkit that when they go out in the world, that they're prepared for what life throws at them. So good. So good. And I want to actually take a couple steps back here, Charlie, and really just, I want to know more of your origin story. I think especially for people watching, uh, they really probably want to get a sense. It's like, okay, cool. This guy has been coaching men um, to be incredible dads for, for some time now. So my question just being what's really, what's sort of the thing that brought you to this point? I know you've obviously been a father for many years, like you mentioned, um, but what, but what has really brought Charlie into this phase of his life where he's now training mm. men to be um, great leaders, not just in the boardroom, not just in the boardroom, but also right. in their families and in their households? Oh, it's, it's great. It's a great question. Um, well, we, we were talking a bit about, about uh, family legacies, right? Like every family, you know, like legacies and family traditions. And, you know, there are always traditions that you want to hand down, you know, like, oh, you know, we do this every Christmas Eve or around the holidays we do this, or this is something my family did that we really like to pass on. But there are other family traditions that go from one generation to the next that can be really debilitating, can be super debilitating. And I grew up in a house um, a household and, and, and grew into a family tradition that included alcoholism, depression, shame, guilt. And it was uh, incredibly, incredibly impactful. Um, and it was, and if I look back multiple generations, I, I, I saw that if things didn't change, if I didn't in intentionally make a shift that I was going to be doing more of the same. And I don't know any dad out there who hasn't at some point as a father, like suddenly realized they're being their father in some way that they react to their child or like some situation comes up, I'm not gonna be like my dad. And they end up, you know, like, but when that thing comes up, they become their dad. And, my, and often it's in a reflection of like, yeah. that it's not that thing that we wanted. So that, so that the realization came around like, I've got to shift the narrative because the narrative that lives about how things go in our family is the following. This is the way we are. This is what you have to put up with. And that, that is just the way it is. And I got this opportunity. I've, you know, like I, I've done a lot of self-development work. I started pretty early, but what I really got was that we actually can shift the story and how we, we can shift the story, it doesn't have to be that way. And we get this opportunity to not only shift the story, but then line up behind the new story, take action in there and build a muscle toward, you know, like build a muscle called being the guy that we said we wanna be. Being that dad that we can be proud of every day. Yeah, yeah, so I wanna ask that Charlie, like where do you guys really get off track with that? Because I think you're right, I think we, a lot of young men, I'm thinking about myself even as I'm going into fatherhood is, is and again, Amanda's not pregnant everybody, so don't worry about that, but <laughs> when that time comes, <laughs> to know that we all have really good intentions. Like there's no dad that's like, oh, I'm gonna intentionally screw up my children, right? Or like really teach things that my parents handed down to me. So like, 
So where do we go off track? Is it completely unconscious? Where do we where do we typically um, really start to fall off from the wayside from who we said we were going to be and who we wanted to be? And then like you know like who I guess what I'm asking is who's that man that's like looking up now and is like oh crap I'm nowhere near like so can you describe a little bit more of who that man is and kind of where they are in their life and what's going on for them that they're noticing this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know any dad who isn't like up to here in responsibilities. Like to give you, for instance, today is the first day of school in our community. So any parent knows the first day of school is the most hectic day of the year. Traffic is awful. You have to remember all your rhythms from the previous year. There's making lunches. That's getting the kids up on time. They're used to sleeping in. They don't want to get up. But we right. as dads are often finding ourselves as the like catch all for everything that somebody else doesn't know how to do. Whether it's fixing the IT or doing the dishes or fixing the thing or going on the errands or taking out the trash or planning the trips or managing the finances or the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing. And, it, and it's like a stack of pancakes, right? Like everybody loves a stack of pancakes. Don't, I like pancakes are amazing, but you get a blueberry pancake and that's really good. And then you get another one that's really good and you're really good at eating them. But then the pancakes start stacking up. This is how dad's lives go. And it's one thing after another. And before we know it, we can feel like every moment of the day is full. It can feel incredibly overwhelming. And yeah. we just, we, we feel like we're just surviving and we're kind of like at the, at the, we're like, we're like victims of our family. Like, yes, you know, my kids got to go to school. Yes, my wife needs help around here. Like, none of that changes. But like, it's like we've, it's like we've, it, it's almost like we've surrendered, right? Like we've surrendered the, the any energy we had as, as young men, you know, those passions that we had, those things that lit us up, like so many of them just fall away when men become fathers because they feel like they need to be responsible for everything or that things take more time and we have a hard time saying no because we're so ingrained in my job whether it was taught by previous generations or society but my job is to when somebody's got a problem i'm the fixer right right so we're not necessarily, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're not necessarily talking to that dad who's sort of the machismo, like, I'm the, I'm the power, I'm the authority in this family, and, like, I'm just going to kind of run it on my schedule. We're talking about the guy that has the greatest of intentions who really wants to help and really help actually run this family along with his partner and just in the mix of it all just gets lost. Like, he gets lost in the mix from what it sounds like. It sounds like he gets distracted because from really what are his greatest passions and, and the things that he really wants to create and, and put out into the world. Yeah, I love what you said there, Matthew, because you hit the nail on the head. See, the bottom line is leadership in the family is about self-leadership. Like, who are we being? There are so many moments where, you know, where we have challenges inside our family where the best thing to do is nothing and that's super challenging for dads right wow. like and as men you know like i have a teenage daughter and a wife and some days they go to loggerheads and you know and and like i can tell you categorically the, the the best thing for me to do is let them work it out but there are so many opportunities like remember that the way we be the way we are, like who we are as a man, when we show up every day, that's what our kids are seeing. That's what they're modeling. And that's what they're going to expect in adulthood. So if we're living as victims in our life, if we're living an overwhelmed life where we can't seem to get ahead, where we feel like we're, we're constantly behind the eight ball, our kids see that. They see so much more than we think they do. And that's what they're going to expect as adults and that's who they are going to model themselves after. So if you come home and they ask you to play a game and you're so exhausted and overwhelmed all the time that you say no because you just got to go to sleep just because I got to get to sleep. That's what they're going to expect and that's what they're going to model as well. Yeah. So, you know, it's like it's we get this opportunity. It's a short a, fr a friend of mine who blogs about being a dad says it's 18 summers. 
You get 18 summers with your kid before they go off to whatever's next. What are you yeah. going to do to make the most of it? What are you going to do? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? What, what qualities, what values do you want to reflect? What values do you want to reflect? And, you know, this is not a conversation that we were taught, but it has, but it gives us access. Like, I, I think this is what I love the most about this kind of work, especially with dads, is that it's like sitting, you know, like, um, you know, like a bucket crane, like at a construction site, you got a big bucket crane. Imagine sitting in the seat of the bucket crane. And, you know, we sit in, the, in a bucket crane of life where that thing is just moving around on its own and it's picking up dirt and making piles and all, all by itself. Now, what we fail to notice is that there are all these handles right between our legs. And those are the controls for the bucket. And yeah. the work that we do together gives us this opportunity to go, oh, that means I can, I can choose something different over here. Or I actually need to do this over here or need to stop doing that over here. We right. get the opportunity to actually put our hands on the, on the wheel or on the, on the controls of our own life. We get to say who we want to be. And when we model that, not only does it impact who our kids are, but it, mo it models and reflects any energy in the family. So if there's strife or dysfunction or heavy stress in life, we can be the, the uh, we can be like the seed that starts to shift that energy. And we get to take responsibility for our own happiness and our own success. So good, Charlie. So good. So if you're a father watching this and you've made it this far, it's obviously very clear this is resonating for you and that Charlie and his message is something that like, for most of us, it's, it's clearly a need. And um, so at this point, Charlie, I, I think for so many men out there, this is the moment where it's like, okay, I, I'm seeing I behind Charlie's like calling me out. And it's the sense of like, okay, I need to take action somehow right. um, because a lot of us are having a lot of awarenesses. So what's yeah. the, what are the ways um, that you're helping men and, and how can they, how can they learn more about mm -hmm. you, Charlie? Oh, well, this is great. Well, I, I, and I'm glad you asked. I'm super excited. We are launching a program this week that's called The Dad's Edge, Finding Focus and Clarity in a World Full of Distractions. It's a six-week group program online. Um, and it is, uh, it's really a culmination of all the work I've done as a coach and as a professional over time. And wow. it's really about giving men access, right? Like, the, you know, when you go to a concert and they give you, you know, like the coveted ticket is the all access pass. That's what this is, is giving you an all access pass to your own life. An all access pass to like joining in with other committed men who are going to stand up and say, you know what? I'm allowed to be a great dad, a great spouse and still have my life. So yeah. I'm super, and I'm really excited. So. You asked the question, how can people work with me? This is the thing, like not only is this the thing I'm most excited about right now, but it is so unbelievably, uh, we, we created this and we're so excited about it, want to roll it out, that we created it and, and, and we want to fill it. And we created this crazy price for it, which I, I know that we're not going to be able to repeat in the future, but we wanted to make sure to make it available to, um, to, to partners like, like you and yeah. we're gonna and so so the dad's edge program so the dad's edge program and i'm gonna put a link down in the uh, in the uh, in the comments below but the dad's edge program starts next week it's a six-week program it's group training support calls private community group where you can share what's going on with you what your experience has been ask questions yeah. ask for support and um i'm just super excited about it so it's a six-week program it starts uh, Sunday, um, the normal price for it is three hundred and ninety nine dollars, which unto itself is incredibly okay. inexpensive for. Yeah, <laughs> oh my Oops, gosh. Maybe, maybe maybe I should reprice it. Let's you know, but that's, it's oh, that's great. <laughs> it's wow. three hundred ninety nine dollars. And for watchers of Matthew Cook, we have created a uh, special link that gives you a seventy five dollar discount on it. So it is three hundred and twenty four. $4. There it is. $324. And only if you use the link in the comments that we will put up here before the end or right at the end of the interview. Um, yeah. And if Amazing. people have, 
right? Like if you still have questions after listening to, to us talk about this, if you still have questions like, is this right for me? I have two things. First of all, you can always reach out to me directly via Facebook Messenger um, or, by e or via email um, anytime uh, to, to ask me about it. But second of all is, my question for you is, how much longer, how much longer are you gonna be willing to wait to have your life? How much longer are you willing to continue doing what you're doing as a dad in your home? Because you deserve to have your life. Your kids actually need you to have your life. And we have a lot of fun in the group. We do a lot of stuff together. And I am so looking forward to having you on the inside. Freaking awesome, Charlie. And I think the last point I want to make, and then I'll ask you too, is I just think community is so vitally important for men and being able to have a place to go to discuss these topics. Like we did, we could do a whole three hour interview on that alone, but just the idea of just having some other men to get around, because I think that's the thing. It's like, we just lose the sense of like what it even means to be a man in community and really have other men holding you accountable as a group. Like it's just freaking awesome. The value is insane. And guys, I can personally vouch for Charlie. I literally, I've worked with this guy for many, many months. Like Charlie is incredible at what he does. He's a phenomenal coach. And, and more than that, it's, it's about you. And if you truly are in a place in your life where you're like, I just feel stuck. I feel kind of blah and even apathetic about life. And I'm ready for something completely different where I'm really bringing my passions forward into the world and really making a difference in my family. Um, then do this, do this for yourself, do this for your family, do this for the world. Um, and Charlie is absolutely the guy to do it with. So, um, they know the comments below. You're going to put in the link so that they can go immediately and go sign up for that. Guys, it's happening next freaking week. So get on that. Literally guys, I, I literally do not recommend most men's coaches because I just think that there's a lot of really interesting characters out there, but Charlie is one of them that I hands down always will endorse. He's a phenomenal human. I just am so damn happy for you, Charlie, and for this process you're going to take men through. So last thought being, um, what, what are and like any final thoughts that you have uh, is in terms of men taking this step and taking some action to really have a better life? Yeah. Yeah. Like here's the bottom line, whether you decide this is right for you or not, whether you decide this is right for me, but not right now, like wherever you're at, I do want to leave you with one thing is you don't yeah. need to work any harder. You don't need to work any harder to have your life. Right? Like there seems to be this crazy ethic in fatherhood, especially in our, in our society. Um, and I certainly grew up with it, like where it's always harder or you're somehow not doing enough and you're forever disappointing yourself and the people around you. And I can tell you unequivocally, unequivocally, I'm in there, that you do so much more than enough. You are absolutely positively everything your kids need. And like, they are, they are like these magical beings, <laughs> the magical beings. Um, and they just want to see all of you. And there's probably pieces of you that you have been withholding from them. If you're living a life where you're feeling like you're barely showing up or you're, or you're, or you're just not feeling like you're living the life that you know was available to you. And I just invite you to like, let them in, let them see part of, life and humanity and let them be a part of it. And, um, I hereby, I hereby give you permission to have your life because your kids are going to so appreciate like the richness. There's this richness in seeing the humanity in your father. There's this richness in being able to see not only their strengths and where they're funny, but also their challenges yeah. and having those deep conversations, even with young kids, because they really get it. So good, Charlie. Thank you so much. And the last thing I would just want to say for those, because I have a large audience of women as well, for, for you women mm -hmm. that are watching, absolutely freaking, this is so stupidly cheap. Charlie is being so generous. Guys, sign up for your men and have them watch it. <laughs> That's worst case scenario. But more than that, ask your partner. If you're a woman watching this, tell your partner, um, or, or if you're in a same-sex marriage, it doesn't matter, 
partner with your partner. Say, hey, I want to partner with you, and I really want to do this together. I want to see you get the help, the accountability, the support, and the love that you deserve as a man um, at, to be an epic father, right, to be an incredible man um, with the dad's edge. So that's my last thought. Um, huge hugs. Thank you so much, Charlie. This has been awesome. Any any final thoughts before we roll out into the sunset? No, you know what? No, I don't have any final thoughts. I, you know, I, uh, we so like you, 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 you nailed it with a piece about community. Yeah. We parent in isolation so many times because we're, we're afraid to tell people where we're challenged, where we feel like we're failing in our marriage or our parent or, you know, parenting style or in our business or, or whatever. And we do it alone and we don't create the kind of community that can hold us and that can hear us and like can hold the space for us while we're, while we're going through the process and like, you know, just letting, you know, even when we speak the truth for us, I'm struggling today or I'm celebrating today, we can, you know, gather together to celebrate or we can release the struggle because we don't have to hold on to it by ourselves anymore. And we get to be held by the community around us. Good. Charlie King, thank you so much. It's been an honor to My pleasure. The interview. Anytime. Anytime, Matthew <laughs> Cook. <laughs> Anytime. Awesome. All right, brother. That's it. Thank you so much for those of you watching, checking out the replay. Give us a hashtag replay if you're watching. Probably a little late for that now, but go ahead and do it anyways. And uh, reach out to Charlie if you have any questions. And uh, here's to the dad's edge. Thanks so much, Charlie. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you, Bye -bye. Matthew.